My name's Sarah Cox. I'm from Devon in England, and I'm the first fully contracted female referee. People address me as Sir. Funniest things that they've called me on the pitch. Probably trying to correct themselves after calling me Sir. It'll go ref, ma'am, sir, miss, and uh, by the time we've got to the end of it, we've lost what we're actually asking for in the first place. Ladies, can you both hear me okay? Extremely experienced Sarah Cox with the whistle. So I've always been involved in rugby. Um, my dad was a part of a local uh, rugby club, so I used to go up and watch him right from when I was really small. And then I kind of grew up around the, the game. I went and played uh, for a little bit, had a little bit of a career there. Lost out on some uh, England trials and decided to look elsewhere and, and what I could get into. So refereeing popped up and here I am now. I've been doing it for about nine years. I started off just in my local society. I then got selected for uh, what we call as group and uh, have been on there for the last three years. And that's where we get international leagues and hopefully I'm, uh, I'm gonna progress a little bit further. You're in front. It's a, it's a lot more relaxing to be able to, to do this as a job um, and not have to put pressure on my boss um, in a nine to five job. Um, but there's a lot of travel involved as well, but also there's a lot of uh, meeting new people and, and being a part of that bigger rugby family as well. Yes, there is pressure naturally with anything and as there is for, for players as well, but there's a lot of respect from the players and, and from the, the crowds around to be fair. So we're in a Six Nations camp at the moment. Uh, we bring all the referees from around the world uh, into one central spot. We discuss what we want to achieve in the, in the Six Nations, um, have a, a group discussion and then, uh, and then go from there. Oh, it's brilliant, I love it. These girls are, uh, are wicked and they, uh, they're great fun as well. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can continue going and continue pushing through and, and improving my fitness and my game understanding and see where the, uh, where the flow takes me, really. So lunge in place, so we went to one times four left and right. We can probably pro progress there. Um, the, the fitter you are, the, sometimes the easier the game becomes because you have, have got that fitness level where you can keep up with players, you can keep up with the game and you've got more room to, to kind of think quicker. She's really physically well prepared. Improvements over the, coming, the last few years has been really significant because she's become full time with us now. We see her week in, week out and all you have to do is look at how she moves when she referees. Um, how hard she works when she's with us, and then it, it, it relays itself when she's refereeing on the pitch. The, the bigger goal is to, to, fingers crossed, get to Rio, and I think anybody can appreciate that that's probably the, the pinnacle of sport as a whole, really. So to be involved in that and to be involved in the first year would be absolutely fantastic.